Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the beta that once was. Uh, we're playing these, these are pre-recorded by the way, I'm sure I'm getting comments saying, how are you still playing? I'm not, this is this is uh, Jonty from the past recording some stuff so that we can fill the gap while we wait for the full release on November the 5th. Uh, and we're in Goodwin House, this is the first... Um, uh, scenario of the game, the sort of tutorial level, and we're coming in and we're redoing some of the exhibits. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with them, I just thought it'd be a fun way to kind of uh, figure out some bits of the game and stuff and do stuff while we're waiting. So, in the last episode, we moved the little lemurs from over here to a much larger walkthrough space over here uh, that people can have a lot more fun with, and we've got a big uh, kapok tree that I haven't seen a single lemur get up yet. I don't think I've seen a single lemur on this structure at all. I've seen a couple of them run along here. Oh, there we go, as if to prove a point. Thank you. So he'll do that look, or she'll do that. But I haven't seen anyone make it up here, or here, or here, or here at all, actually. This whole structure I haven't seen them use uh, full stop. So hopefully they do at some point. It'd be nice. I'll put some toys and stuff up there to try and encroach them. Uh, towards it, but no, they don't seem to want to go. Anyway, but the main thing we wanted to do was clear this area out so that we can extend the bear exhibit, uh, move the bear cave back to here, and have a walk walk over thing here where the bears sort of walk up and over the top of the exhibit. I don't think it's very often done with bears, to be honest with you. It's quite commonly used for tigers. Um, I think there's some lion places that do it as well. Uh, but I thought it just this this little path here kind of lended itself to it. So that's what we're going to have a go at doing today. Let's pause the game. So um, I'm going to do it how I think how I think it should go. All right. So I think what happens is we take that out and then we shrink those down. All right. And then we, uh, then we make it a null barrier. Um, Increase the length to about there, and then we go back to wood and finish it off. Okay, so then we take that null barrier out from here um, and add on to it using the null. There we go, that's what we want to do. We'll drag down the size of that so it's across there. Then we go back to wood. And then basically carry on like normal. Um, let's get glass there just so we can... Actually, no, let's not. Let's do wood. To about there. And then go glass so we can get that slight curve in. And back to wood. And... Bring that around here. Um, all the way down there. And there's basically a square now back up to where we want it to be. Which is going to be about here. Okay, so once we've done that, we have a little bit more wood there. And then we go back to our null barrier, which I always remember which one it is. Turn it on to straight sections and pop it in there and then get rid of that bit. Okay, so obviously if we unpause the game there, the bears would run riot and they'd kill everything. So we don't want to do that. But that is, I think, the um, the beginnings of, of this of this thing. Okay, so let's move these lights because I quite like them. But they're not where they are now isn't, isn't great, is it? So let's put them there. Uh, that one's fine, and there isn't one on the other side. Okay, let's maybe duplicate that across then, just to keep it matching. Because uh, otherwise there'll be talks, people will talk. Okay. So now what we have to do is make the uh, the actual sort of path across. Okay, so first of all, let's just move some of these trees out. And again, they want to kind of stay away from the edge, because bears can climb. So we'll put them a little away from the edge. And the re to be honest with you, this, I'm really quite like this. I think it's done out really nicely. Don't really want to mess with this at all. Very happy to keep it in. I'm doing this one more because I, I just want to see it happen, really. Um, so we'll move the bedding over to where our new, um, our new cave is going to be. 
And I think it's a good idea to have the bedding on one side and everything else on the other, because that gives them a good reason to, to get across then, right? It gives them a good reason to, to actually go there in the first place. So we're going to move some of this foliage uh, out of the way whilst we figure it. Okay, and then we're going to level that out. And hopefully it doesn't mess too much with the poor bear that's currently in there. I think it'll just pop up. Yeah, it's, he'll be alright there, won't he? Or she. Um, this is a light, I think. That can go. We don't need to light up their cave, poor things. Pop! There we go. He just pops up. Um, she does Nakedra. And who else we got? Oh, we got a puppy. A puppy. Uh, a cub. <laughs> a puppy! <laughs> um, how adorable little cub. Who's that? Tyler? Tyler? Tyler the bear and Darren the dog we had the other day. <laughs> Some of the names in this. And here's Daddy. Uh, Zachary. Nice. I suppose they're North American names, right? So they're, they're, they're okay to be a little bit more sort of humanistic, I suppose. Uh, right then. So now we've got to make the tunnel. So let's go to construction. And it's, I mean, I, it's going to be made out of wood, isn't it? At least, at least wood that maybe probably could be reinforced. But it needs to keep in that sort of North American vibe. So I think we'll go for this darker wood. Uh, flat roofs, this one here, yeah, okay. Now, the only problem with this is, it's not so bad for bears, because they're, they're wide, they're widens, aren't they? But um, it does have to be quite wide for it to register as walkable terrain. Um, so we can't quite get the uh, the level of nuance I would like to. But still, this should be quite interesting, I think. So if we go for something like that, a little higher, so that you know, people can really get underneath it. All right, and then we need to get a roof, uh, slope, no, slope pitch roofs, there we go. And I think, that I mean, there's going to be, again, there's going to be more sort of nuanced ways of making this, but I think for now, using these sloped wall, sloped roofs is probably the best idea because it's, I know it's walkable, um, I know it's, you know, wide enough and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to just go for something like that. Okay, I'm actually going to take all of these, pop them off that grid, so, so they line up with that a bit better. All right, and they're, they're a little off the ground there, so we're just going to pull that terrain up slightly. There we go, perfect. And same on the other side. Perfect. Okay, so that's now it should be walk acrossable. Walk acrossable. Then so let's just check. Um, come into here to traversable area and just click play a sec and hope they don't go too far there we go ah and that's interesting so it's showing that they can get up here but not across that bit huh why is that then I wonder because that to all intents and purposes should work and I don't really know why it doesn't. Um, okay, let's turn that off a minute. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. So maybe we should try that. Let's see if that helps. In fact, let's take both of those and move into the middle of that area. I don't know whether it's a wideness thing or maybe just that piece. It's just weird that that piece isn't the one that does it, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't seem to want to walk on that at all. Uh, okay, well. I'm not so sure what to do about that because that seems to be what everyone's doing. <laughs> um, the few people, I've seen a couple people now on Reddit, like I say, Beyond Drew, I saw do it with a, with a bear quite successfully. Um, and I'm pretty sure he just used flat flat roof pieces. I mean, we'll, we could try a different roof piece just in case, I suppose. We could try that. Just It might just be that one bit. Who knows? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. So it just seemed to be that one, but there you go. There they can get across there. And I'm pretty sure that if we um, now take some glass pieces, oops, we can enclose that in glass. And they, and they should be pretty much okay with it. So let's come into this here. Glass mod, and we'll keep it 
the right high fat. Let's come out of this for a minute while we just put these in. Uh, okay, so we'll keep it simple. We'll just do something like that. And then we'll do a flat roof. And we can decorate this afterwards, you know, with some logs and stuff to make it look a bit more in keeping with the theme. But I'm just checking each each sort of step of the way, checking that this is still an option because now obviously those pieces have gone in. It's registered that they have, yet it's still so there's still room there. Okay, it's getting less because obviously that they they're programmed to give stuff a bit of a birth so they don't clip and stuff. It's getting less, but they should now be able to walk. Uh, across there comfortably so the next step then is to is to stop them walking <laughs> the main step really is to stop them walking across the path that is the bit that you really don't want to see isn't it so I think that's probably going to be best to do with rock work and um, I'm assuming we're using sort of temperate rocks here uh, is there any rocks yeah there's one what's that rock there temperate rock okay so let's no. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Pressing move, pressing M for move is very irritating. Temperate rock. And now we're gonna, gonna have to make sure that we both enclose the space, but also not encroach too much on, on that, because we obviously want that to stay as a walkable space. So we have to be really quite clever here with our rock. I mean, once we get to this side, that's fine. We can just sort of build that up. That's no problem. But we really want to make sure that we're that we're making this area here both inaccessible and also um, cover, you know, completely covered. Uh, we've used this big rock here already. Let's let's change it up a bit. Turn it around like that. Okay, and try and make it so it doesn't squeeze onto the path too much. So there's a problem here is going to be that that you can step over that way. So what we might have to do is bring it all the way a little and do something with those maybe wooden pieces. Uh, where are they? The big the big plank the big uh, trunks here, these things. What I'm thinking is if we can do something like this and we'll carry this on down the uh, the build as well. But if we can maybe do something like this, uh, so yeah, that's probably the way to do it, isn't it? And we'll keep that going across as it. There really is very little way around there. I mean, I know like, technically you cl you know you've got climbing and climbing, but I just I don't think the game is is registering that sort of thing uh, as walkable. So I mean, we can check, you know, later on. But I think, make sure you're rotating stuff, by the way, folks. It makes a huge difference. See, a lot, especially with these logs, see a lot of people not rotating. You really need to be rotating these. Gives you that extra natural uh, little bit of detail to them. Let's copy all these over because we'll just reuse these. There we go. Um, bring that over that way. And just lower it down a bit. This is pretty much going to work verbatim on this side as well. So we'll bring that around, we'll turn that around, there we go. Rotating. It is your friend. Okay, so that starts making it look good, but also I think we'll make it so that that area is no longer traversable. Obviously we're going to have to do some work here. But actually, that shouldn't be traversable either, really. But obviously, kids could get under there, <laughs> so we will have to do something. Not that they can in the game, but you know, from a from a slight point of realism, we will have to do something there. So now, the big problem is after all of this, I I don't know what, I don't know why my game is different, but I have found that that people have said that you know they, certain people are getting certain bugs and certain people aren't. So it must just be something to do with how your PC is set up. Um, but I'm finding that this sort of stuff doesn't work. People still run through it thinking that they're going to get caught by the animal, even though I've pretty much built this identically to other ones I've seen there because I just know that it, it can work because, like I say, I've, I've seen it happen. But uh, yeah, it definitely seems to be something for me. I'd love for it to work today, and if it doesn't, we will just play with the game. Always paused. Um, 
that's you know, <laughs> that's just what we have to do. Let's go back into nature, get some other big rockies over here. That's a big oh I thought that was a big one. Is that a big one? It's that it's this one here. There's this monster one that you just use for everything because it's got really good coverage. Um there we go, we wanna make sure we don't get that nipping in too much there. Okay, and then we can use some of this cladding for uh, for the gap here. So right, it's a bit neat, a bit straighter on the other side, I think, which is where we want the edge really. So we can take it up like that. Don't want to clip there. Uh, whoops. We all right there? Yep, that's good. And same on Tothering. Oops. There we go. The one there. Tiniest bit of clipping, but I'm okay with it. Okay. And then just where so there's a few gaps, we'll use these long, thin ones to fill them in. Because they look good. Okay, there you go. You've got a ca uh, cowboy cave on earth. Is it called a cowboy cave? You've got a grizzly bear cave. I have no idea where cowboy cave come from. I feel a bit unwell. Um, for Cersei, there's just a spot there that just screams bench. Um, let me find where benches are in this game. That there just screams. I don't know why you'd sit there. <laughs> because there's so little to see. But it just, that screams bench to me. And, and also trash because there's trash there on the floor. Right, let's have another look at the traversable terrain for these little fellas and ladies. Uh, here we go, turn them on. So at the minute they're still walking out spots. They should hopefully go away now before little, bump, bump, little bear boy gets there. Okay, so, well, oh, that's glass, all right. So there we go. I think I think that's thinned out a little bit more, so we're going to have to fix that because we really want as much as like least resistance as possible really there we want it to be as wide as it can be there we go but that is now traversable so the next big thing really before we carry on is let's see so the, this is the problem look they're stood there now with the thumbs up their bums thinking they can see a bear oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Kyle. What was your name? You had, a, you had a proper American name. Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. You've shown us. See, look, look. She's fleeing. Oh, no, she's not. She just really wants to see Grizzly Bear. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, so this is the only issue. I think, I'm guessing it's because the, they're right. There's no fence there, but they don't register that there's a rock there, you know? So I suppose the only thing we could do here is if we edit this barrier. So from here to if we take that can we move that in yeah just to kind of make this happen less perhaps uh, and do the same this way warthog's pregnant awesome so from there to there it's the same again. Take it in. No, they're still they're still gonna stand there. It might just take a while for them to adjust. But yeah, they're all just coming stood. There you go. There you're moving there. Look. Okay. So good news is, oh, the little bear's just done it again. Legendary little dude, Tyler. We love you. Um. Oh, he's such a baby as well. Look, he's not even he's not even six months old. Or he might be, I don't know, 0.5. Is that, is that half a year or is that... No, that's going to be half a year, isn't it? So he's six months old. <laughs> Tyler, you're adorable. Um, but we need to make your habitat look a bit better because it doesn't at the moment. It, well, it looks fine, but we can make it... We need to get some wood detailing on it, don't we, really? So make it look a little bit more secure and also just sort of more in keeping with the aesthetic. So here we go. Uh, core core beam. I'm a big fan of my core beams. Uh, we can go 8 metres here, can't we? Oh, 
Okay, so let's go for that. And then we'll do a round one. Um, and then we'll do, what are these ones? They're just, are they your slightly thicker wooden posts, aren't they? Okay, let's do a round one and a square one. One, two, three, four. Let's just deal with the hanging. There we go. And copy them over. There we are. Okay. And then I think we need we need some like we need some ones underneath this. Right? That we can turn in like that. Just to kind of Give us that little bit of support, or at least the look of support, you know. In fact, I'd say they could probably come down, come out a bit more. There you go. And turn them around to come on the other side. Same kind of thing. There we go. I mean, they seem a little lopsided. The whole thing is, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, so that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's just bring the oops, the end one of these all up to cover the seam a little. Okay, I'm glad this works. I'm glad we got a chance to do it as a bit of a proof of concept before because, the like I said before, the zoo school episode, the first one of those is Bengal tigers, and obviously this is a big thing in in tiger exhibit. So I really wanted to make sure it was working. Uh, for that and there it is which is good this is what a beta is all about just trying things figuring out the game figuring out what the sort of possibilities are what you can get away with i mean there's people been asking me questions in 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 the comments and, and i just i don't know the answers yet because i just haven't had enough time playing around with the game the big one i've noticed is when a lot of people say oh the view here is fine and they're like, how'd you get that to be better? I genuinely don't know. I, I haven't been able to figure out yet what the guests actually constitutes as, as being part of the view and whether it's uh, a looks thing or whether it's a physical sort of how close they are to the animal. Just I just can't figure it out. Um, and it's going to take probably hours of sort of... Uh, like trial and trial and error really you know we got to just put different pieces together and see if it changes and uh, unfortunately we just haven't really had time in the beta but that that's what betas are all about they are there for figuring that kind of stuff out like um for instance this this is a perfect example figuring out whether or not you can do this kind of exhibit is the perfect use of a beta so i hope you all had fun in the beta hope you're looking forward to the full release hope these videos aren't too annoying because I know there's going to be people who are annoyed that uh, I'm, air quotes, still playing, even though I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm playing no more than you folks are. I've just managed to, through the powers of editing, get stuff pre-recorded. Uh, I don't know why, I just felt like this rock work needed to carry down here. Um, there's one more in there, just a Big old rock. Boom. Boom. And there's a little bit there as well. Uh, that one should do that. Oh, and there, look. Look at that. Look at that cheeky little bit sticking out there. Do we just go really rubbish and just go... <laughs> That'll do. There we go. Um, all right, rock works covered that side. And um, Yeah, I don't know why that felt like that needed to be rock, but I did. That poor one was going to crack her head off it. Uh, right, so really then, that's kind of it. Oh, we need to sort of put this cave back in, don't we? Let's go back to terrain and pull. Um, so we're going to pull this terrain right up. It's about there. That seems fine. And then we'll continue to pull it up and make it a little smaller. Maybe not that small. There we go. Main thing is we need to make it so they can't climb up the back of it. Which this looks like they probably could, but it'll do for now. Okay, and then we make it smaller again. And we put flattened foundation on, and we can use this level, there it is, to carve in. 
hopefully show that bedding off again. There we go. Show that bedding off in all its glory. And then we can then use this just to push that away a little. On the inside there, make it actual cave of fire that they can get in there. Do what they need to do, go for a little snooze. All that kind of goodness. That should be alright, I think. There we go, nothing special. Again, we're in a bit of a rush. So, let's set uh, Oops. Let's make that all rock. And some of it there. Harder rock. I find that it's better to use that soft rock and then use that heavy one. What's it called? Light and rough, smooth and rough. So use the smooth rock for full coverage and then just go in with the heavy one and do some detail. I find that the heavy one on its own, the, the pattern is a bit too repetitive. You'll see there, look, even already you can start seeing it come through. So we'll take that like that. And they can come over here to sleep. Um, and then I suppose it's just a case of foliage. I didn't even check to see whether their stuff they were happy with, to be honest. What they need? They need some toy enrichment. Okay. Uh, their terrain is, could be better. There's too much long grass and not enough soil. So I didn't even didn't really even think to come in and, and check, actually. So we can totally fix that. that. Oh, actually, I say check. That may have been me doing that because obviously a lot of this over here is, is long grass. So we can come in and take away... A lot of that and turn it into soil instead and then over here and there's just so much of it in there so we can make some soil there what else have we got to play with short grass so let's make all the grassy bits short grass see if that helps there we go um no preference for water no preference for climbing environment wise plant coverage is fine apart from oh no no it's not look we've got loads of wrong stuff in here look so bramble bush this is all bramble Oh no, this is bracken. Bramble's the slightly thicker, lower one, right? But that wattle bush they don't like. Uh, is this bramble? This is bramble. That's all got to go. Giving them the wrong plants. How awful. Poor things. Um, what else we got? This looks like bramble to me. Yep, yeah, got to go. Got to go. There. Bramble. Got to go. What else we got? Over here. Look at all this awful... Awful foliage that they hate. Wattles they don't like. Brambles, wattles. I wonder if they did this on purpose to make you come in and notice. I bet they do. I bet they're clever like that. Uh, let's get all this bramble. The nettles are fine, all the ferny things. That should be it. I don't think there's anything on the other side. Let's have another look. Uh, environment. No. There we go, coverage. So let's just speed the game up. So there's a Scots point. There's one more bramble bush somewhere. I don't believe there's a way of checking it from this menu, annoyingly. That would be really handy. Even if it just like hot lit up as you hovered over it or something. Because I'm not spending the last five minutes of this video on the search for the bramble. But there is one in here that... There is. There's one in here that it doesn't like. Where did you go? Environment, Scott's Pie, and that one should be easier to find. Is that those ones? They don't even like... There's loads of them. I thought... Oh, no, it's European, isn't it? Scott's Pie. Okay, we'll find... We will find a more suitable pine for you, my friend. They're okay. Um, a horrible feeling these ones here are all going to count. We might have to get rid of all of them as well. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to hang over and count, so we'll clear those out. And here, oh, actually, let's just check because I really quite like those lined up there. Yeah, seven. Look, it's those. It's those exact seven. Look, one, two. Let's select multi-select. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goodbye. And now we have not enough coverage, but the right plants at least, so we can go for North America Tega. Tempera and Tundra. Loads to choose from. Um, so, Tiger, Tempera, Tundra, North America. None. There we go. Okay. 
So we've got these more traditional spruces. So I'll tell you what, let's just uh, let's fix that first of all with some spruces. There we go. Quite like that gap of one there. Uh, so we can do reeds. Uh, I just kind of want trees though, to be honest. Douglas fir, are they the ones we want? So what are these ones we've got in? Ponderosa pine. Okay, so we can have Douglas firs and we can have Ponderosa pine. We need to turn off angle uh, aligns the surface so that they always stick straight up. Once what she said. Okay, and then we can come in and do maybe one here. And a few more over here. Just want to keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it easy. Um, that's some. I love these little slight snowdroppy type flowers. They look great. Oh, I'm not sure about rose bush, but that'll do. There we go. And oh, look at that one. Oh, that was the one I think needs work. Look, yeah, not not too great. Not too happy with how that one's turned out. Um, Get us some ferns, just some light ferns around the bottom there. Okay, still need more coverage. All right, okay. Um, let's go for some other bigger trees. Cedar, they look good. There we go, that's what you want, innit? There we go. And one more here. Great stuff. And then the last thing I've just noticed is there are coolers in here. Um, as much as I'm not a massive fan of them, it looks like they're needed. So let's have a look at what temperature they're set at. They're, tep they're set at freezing. <sighs> okay. Let's put a couple of them down then, I suppose. Cool that area down for them. There we go. Good stuff, right? I think we've, uh, we, like I say, I didn't, I didn't want to change too much. I think it looks nice. I, I love the fallen logs and stuff, but I really wanted to have a go at one of those over the top things, and I think that's worked out pretty well. We've seen Baby get across there. Uh, we haven't seen one of the uh, the big ones do it, but Baby gets across, so that's uh, that's good enough for me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.